Hello guys, my name is Waidaka. Welcome to one of my videos. Today we'll be looking at how we can draw a two-point perspective of a stepped block. Welcome and let us begin. For this case, we are given a cube and a number of conditions. The cube has edges of 50, 50 millimeters. So the edges of the cube are sizes edges of 50 millimeters. The cube again requirement is that it is inclined at an angle of uh, 45 degrees, five degrees. Again, we are given the ground level, the horizon level, and the picture plane. And the picture plane and the relationship is that uh, the ground level, and the horizon is 100 millimeters from the ground level, and the picture plane is 130 millimeters from the ground level, such that the PP and the HL are 30 millimeters apart. Those are the requirements that you will be given, and then we are required to come up with a two-point perspective of a cube that is 50 millimeters inclined at an angle of 45 degrees. Again, we are also uh, told that. Uh, the setup here that the cube is 60 millimeters from the spectator, from the eye of, 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 the, of the eye of the observer. The cube is positioned at the lowest point of the cube plan. The plan of the cube, because we use the plan of the cube to generate the perspective, the lowest point or the lowest corner. 60 millimeters from the spectator at the left of the spectator. The spectator is at this point E, then the lowest point of the plan is 60 millimeters from the spectator, and again 20 millimeters from the picture plane. So, those are the conditions that we are given to come up with a two point perspective of, uh, of a cube. So the first thing we need to do is to produce line BC to touch the picture plane and then we produce it vertically down up to the ground level. And that will give us point, point X. Point X. Then again, we need to define we need to define the vanishing point to both the left and the right. So we need to define the right vanishing point and the left vanishing point. For the simple reason that the, the plan is inclined or the cube is inclined at a number of different degrees, then we need to generate the vanishing points to the left and to the right at an angle of 45 degrees because this is a two-point perspective. We need the left vanishing point and the right vanishing point. So for us to generate uh, the left vanishing point, we will draw a line at a number of 45 from, from the spectator until it touches the picture plane and then we drop it vertically down to cut the horizon, the horizon level. And when it cuts the horizon level, that will be our left vanishing point. the left vanishing point at an angle of 45 degrees. So we do the same for us to generate a vanishing point to the right at an angle of 45 degrees. After we draw a line from point E to the picture plane, then we drop it vertically down to the, to the horizon. 
surprise on level to give us the right vanishing point at an angle of 45 degrees. Then once we have that, remember earlier on we had uh, produced like BC to the picture frame and then we dropped it to vertically down to the ground level and that line is the one that will give us what we call the height line. That is our height line and that is the line that we use to measure the height of the cube. Once we have done that, then we need to generate the points of the, uh, the cube in perspective. So we will uh, start with point B and we will reference point B with the spectator and then draw a line that touches the picture frame and then we produce it, we project it vertically down, vertically down to connect with the line that comes from, from point X. So uh, maybe before we, we, do, we do point B, we, we need to, to take point X, point X to the right vanishing point. So that to help us to generate generate the other points for the for the perspective. So we produce like we draw like x to the right vanishing point. First then we will reference point B with E and draw a line that touches the picture frame and then we drop it vertically down to cut the line that is coming from point X. That will give us point B, point B on the perspective. Remember we have produced reference to B with E until it touches the picture print, then we drop it vertically down to cut the line that is coming from X at point B. Then we will produce point B to the left vanishing point. Then we will uh, do the same with point A, we reference point A with E, we draw a line until it touches the picture frame and then we drop it vertically down to cut the line that is coming from point B in perspective to the left vanishing point. So we reference point A with E, we produce a line until it touches the picture frame. Then we drop it vertically down to cut the line that is coming from B to the left vanishing point. And that will give us point A. Point A. And then that point also should recede to the right vanishing point because this is a two point perspective. Then once we've done that, we also reference point C with E, and then once we draw a line until it touches the picture frame, we drop it vertically down to the line that came from point X. And where that line, that vertical line from picture frame, Cut the line that is coming from X will give us point C. And then point C again it has to recede to the line to the left 
vanishing point. And where the line that is coming from C to the left vanishing point meets with the line that is coming from point A to the right vanishing point, we will generate as point B. That will give us point B. And of course, up to now, we've already generated the perspective of the base of the cube in perspective. And maybe for this, for ease or for we, we can define that part so that we are able to see how the perspective is developed. So we've already generated the base of the cube, that is A, B, C, D, that is the base of the cube in perspective. Then we need to define the height of the cube. And remember again, we already established our height line, so we need to measure the height of the cube from point X. And uh, we know that our cube has a height of 50 millimeters, so we just measure 50 millimeters from, the, from point X. And uh, that point should recede to the right vanishing point. Remember, we measured the height of the cube from point X, whose this is our height line, which is 50 millimeters. Then that point recedes to the right vanishing point. And where that line cuts the one that is coming from point B will give us B prime. We get B prime. And then B prime has already receded to the left to the right vanishing point. So it also again recedes to the left vanishing point. Because this is a two-point perspective. Then where that line that is coming from B the left vanishing point cuts the vertical line that was coming from point A will give us point A prime. Give us point A prime and again A prime should recede to the right vanishing point. So again, we already have a line that came from C and defined our point C. Then we have the line that is coming from B to the right vanishing point meets with the vertical line generating point C to give us point C prime. And then again, C prime should recede to the right to the left vanishing point in order for us to generate point B prime. So where the line that is coming from A prime meets with the line that comes from C prime will generate us point D prime. What we notice is that uh, D prime and D are actually vertically opposite simply because the uh, line that is coming from point D to D prime also define the, defines our cube. What remains now is to just outline the points that generate us the perspective, uh, the two-point perspective. So we've already defined the line that is coming from point A to A prime. Then we do the same with point B to B prime. 
frame so we do the same with C C frame and then we also do the same with D D frame Then we do the same with the top part of the cube to, to, to complete the perspective representation. Remember in, uh, in technical drawing, we use broken line to indicate hidden details and remember these lines are on the, the other side of the cube, they are not on the front side, that's why we need to use uh, the broken line to show that these are hidden details. So there we are, we have our two-point perspective representation of a cube. Thank you for staying with me. Thank you for following up. Welcome uh, for my next video tutorial on uh, a game of two-point perspective where we talk.